morning welcome back to the channel it's tuesday november 5th uh i've been busy listing those items i photographed last night got them all up online to my big store i'm gonna ch check the small store next and see if anything sold and uh pack up the orders from overnight uh let's take a look and see what uh, what sold looks like we had three sales for 43 dollars and 15 cents out of the big store let's see what sold First item sold for $26.67. It's a pair of brand new UB Tech Men's Beige Solid Dress Pants. Size 42 waist by 32 inseam. Flat front. There's a better look at them. I also put um, keyword 2XL in these and XXL just to get a few more eyes on them. Second item, I accepted a best offer. It sold for $8.23. It's a Bram Stoker's Dracula Blu-ray movie disc from 2007, keyword film, keyword, keywords collector's edition. So that disc was part of a storage unit buy that I did. I got a bunch of Blu-rays out of it. It didn't have the case, but it just had the art and the disc. So I was happy to take uh, a best offer of $8 and sell it for $8.23 shipped. Third item that sold this morning sold for $8.23. Another bread and butter type of sale. It's a DKNY tank top black medium solid t-shirt polyester keywords spaghetti strap. So I do notice the spaghetti strapped uh, tank tops tend to sell a little better than the others. I think the girls like those. Um, not a big profit to be made on any of them, but they do move rather quick. I usually get a bunch of them in storage units, and I list them individually. Um, usually make about 3 or $4 profit on each one. So they do add up, um, but it takes a while. So I'm going to grab those three items from uh, inventory, get some shipping on them, and get them ready for the customers course the moment you pull three orders from inventory another one comes through uh, let's see what else sold we'll have to add this one to the mix this one sold for $21.10 it was listed December 1st so another recent listing it's a uh, Marona blue two pocket men's dress shirt top long sleeve cotton size extra large so I got my orders packed for the big store and just logged into the small store. I had uh, four offers waiting for me. I accepted three of those. I also had a couple sales. Um, let me show you what sold. First item that sold sold for $20.78. It's a Brooks Brothers cotton long sleeve men's extra large dress shirt size 17 by 34, 35 sleeve. And it's blue in color. That one was listed just November 29th. So it was a quick, uh, quick sale. Uh, Brooks Brothers is a good brand to get. I think it's in one of the top 10 dress shirts to list uh, when you check the long sleeve dress shirts. Um, Brooks Brothers is in there, one of the top selling shirts. So if you see it, pick it up. The item that sold overnight was this. It's a sold for $42.74. It's a 1988 vintage brown hardcover book, Snagged and Sunk, Ornate by Harry Castleman. So that vintage book market is an interesting one. It's not a quick sell-through rate usually unless you have something that's really desirable. But uh, if you find some of those vintage books, either in a storage unit or at the thrift shop, sometimes they have a section for vintage books, pick them up and see how much you can get them for. As you can see, that one sold for $42. So usually if you pick them up at the thrift store, they're pretty reasonably priced. Um, and you can make a decent amount of money on them. So. A good sale, 1988 vintage hardcover. While I was telling you about those, we had two of the three um, items that I accepted offers on be paid for. So let me go ahead and show you the other two um, that were paid for. So I accepted a best offer of $11. Got paid $11.80, including tax for this faded glory olive green cargo dress shorts, flat front size, extra large, 38 waist by 8.5 inch inseam keyword men's so obviously when you get those best offers sometimes you got to take a little bit less money um faded glory obviously is a, a walmart brand so it's not in high demand uh, the market is quite saturated so i went ahead and took the offer a uh, nice pair of shorts cargo shorts um i know they sell pretty cheap at walmart anyways so uh, to get them online for that amount is quite a bargain Second item that I accepted a best offer on was this. It sold for $12. Uh, took the order, had it listed for $19.99. Listed it just December 3rd. 
Um, so it was a recent listing. This is an extra large Under Armour short sleeve black and gray men's polyester spandex t-shirt. So at $12, uh, that's definitely under market value for a t-shirt like that, but uh, I wanted a quick sale. I thought I would uh, get the inventory moving a little bit, feeling a little generous today. So $12 sold out the door. It's a light uh, t-shirt, so it shouldn't cost too much in shipping. Get that one out to the customer. Hopefully they'll be happy with it and return for more. So I'm going to go ahead and grab those four items from the, my inventory system and get some shipping on them and get them ready for the customer. All right, I've got a few items set out here that I'm going to get listed into the store tonight. Got to get these photographed. Um, grabbed a toy from upstairs. This little wrestling guy. I'll have to look him up, find out who he is. This is a vintage ashtray from San Antonio that uh, my mom gave me to list. Um, this was a last tram my dad picked up to reminded her, reminded him of uh, their time in San Antonio, Texas uh, when I was one year old. Um, so we're going to get that listed. I'm not smokers, so no need for an ashtray, but um, had some sentimental value, I guess. This over here was a sewing kit looks like crocheting kit of some sort so uh, I got this out of a storage unit nice little uh, beginning crochet kit so I'm gonna list that so there's a few quick little items to list and then over here I have the rest of those Christmas boxes I'm calling them Christmas holiday junk drawer boxes uh, not junk though just decorations ornaments uh, Christmas holiday stuff so I've got four more to do. I've listed a bunch of those last week, so i got to finish up on those. And then we're going to get into some more of the, the higher-priced uh, Christmas items that I have to list. But uh, that's the plan for tonight to get those listed. I'll give you guys a look at those once I uh, photograph them here. I think I'm going to add a few books. Grabbed a few books off the book stack. Going to get those photographed as well. Like to keep a stack or two of books right here just to work through when I need an extra item or whatnot. So I have these here. This is kind of a vintage book here. This one has some uh, damage to the... Um, binding here but it is quite old so I'm gonna get it listed at the right price and uh, hopefully some collector will pick it up um, I don't remember quite they call it the world book I'm not sure what the year is but I can look all that up once uh, once I get it listed I'll let them know about the binding um, damage and uh, they can uh, decide if they want to buy it or not the world book they call it Let's see, it's from, uh, what year does it have on here? New York, the world book. Here it is, it says 1918, the world book, organized knowledge in st story and picture. So an old one. This one came in eight volumes, and this is volume number six. So maybe if uh, someone has a collection is missing volume six we got it here just a little binding damage but the rest of the book as you can see is in great condition um, has all the photos and everything they need to add to their collection complete the series it's kind of cool how they used to do these books back in the day it's not not so visual a lot of words they got a few pictures in there Ooh, look at this an old letter from the early 1900s, probably. Some sort of... Looks like a recipe, maybe. It says Jesus right there, but... Uh, it's hard to read. Some sort of uh, information about pearl diving, it looks like. This is on pearl diving here, and they took some notes on this uh, sheet here. So who knows when this was written, but um, if the book is from the early 1900s, 1918, this letter is probably uh, shortly after that, or uh, who knows. But uh, I guess we should, sp we should look through this thing. It might have some more... Uh, 
interesting letters in here. Sometimes they stash some money in uh, old books like this, so it's always worth the, worth it to give them a shake or two to make sure there's no uh, no cash money in them. So that's one, this vintage book from 1918. Over here is another cookbook, and this is an interesting book as well. Let me show you this. Oh, there we go. Um, this is how it happens right here. They teach you how to do it. So, um, an instruction booklet on that. Um, somebody might get some use out of that. Everything has an audience. It's actually a nice leather bound book. It says Marcus and Millichap Masters Development. It's pretty cool. So a few books, a toy, a sewing kit. What else? Oh, and that ashtray. So I'm going to get those photographed and then I'll give you guys a look at the rest of the Christmas items. Alright, what I decided to do was take the four boxes and combine them into one. And that way I can ship it FedEx or UPS for a lower rate. So I have it all set out here. Let me give you guys a look. So I'm going to take all these Christmas goodies and uh, list it and use that box to ship it. But let me give you guys a look at everything I'm going to put in here. All these lights, tested those lights, they do fire up. Uh, most of them light up. There's some snow, there's the little globe, another set of lights, all those labels. Um, all kinds of stuff, ornaments. There's a little picture frame in there. Confetti, these two little witches. Another a stocking there. So all that I'm going to put in one listing. Over here I'm going to list these five items separately. These are kind of some more high-end ornaments in the little box. Look to be almost vintage. Glass ornaments from New York City. So I'll have to do some research to see if those are worth anything. Uh, nice. Um, has a little dog on this one. A little turtle. Put that in a trio together. Another larger um, stocking there, and this one is pretty interesting. It's a Snoopy um, stocking, and it does work. Um, there it is. There it goes. So it's super soft. Little Snoopy with the ears. Plays the Peanuts song there. And you just press the little paw right there, and it plays for you. And this is the last item. Santa Claus. So I'm gonna get some of that stuff photographed. Hopefully get that big lot of Christmas stuff listed. So uh, put it at auction for $9.99 with a $19.99 buy it now. See if I can get someone uh, to pick up that uh, lot of Christmas stuff. Get it out of here to a new home. And these five individual listings will go up uh, separately at uh, particular price points. This was the other item I found in those boxes, those Christmas boxes of uh, Christmas stuff. It's so a little Santa here. It says, belly like a, f belly like a bowl full of jelly. And um, I was um, seeing where the battery's going and you just press the bottom foot like that and he starts dancing. He does work as you can see. Plays that famous uh, Destiny Child hit song. You guys get the idea. I don't want to play too much for you. We'll get demonetized. I did list one of these Lennox boxes, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more to go. Um, the one that I listed had an MSRP of $64, so we're looking at a decent chunk of change with those seven right there. So I'm going to keep working through those once I get through uh, some of this Christmas stuff. Just one at a time, gotta keep it going online and get it listed and sold. Here's a couple more items I have uh, sitting here to get photographed. Gonna get these uh, photographed. This is a little paint set. All kinds of paints, paint brushes, all sorts of things in this uh, perfect little wooden box. So I'm just gonna list it as is. Shuts just like that, a little carrying case. All your paint supplies in one listing so I'm gonna put that up uh, a reasonable price this is the other item I'm gonna ship it in this box this is some sort of um, etched glass 
Uh, I've showed this in previous videos. It has a, um, a little lighting system in there that you put some batteries in, it lights up. So I'm going to get that listed. Um, there's probably some of those online. I'll just price them accordingly. Put it back in the box and ship it as is. These are the last two items. I'm probably going to wait on these, but uh, these will be going up this week as well. A pair of Columbia boots and those Asics wrestling shoes. Pick those up on uh, Sunday. So there it is. I got all this stuff photographed. Going to do those last few photographs and then I'll get working on these one at a time. Get them up and listed into my stores. So I just did a Google image search and if you guys were wondering, I guess this character is Chavo Guerrero, WWE wrestler I think. So uh, that's who it is. We're going to price it accordingly. I was about to begin my listings for the night when I had one more order come through. Let me show you what sold. For $10.63 this classic soul thriller by Michael Jackson CD from 1982 on epic pop soul R&B. Keywords, Billie Jean, and beat it. So there it is. I pulled it from inventory. I'm going to get some shipping on that. Michael Jackson Thriller CD out the door. Six items listed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more. Seven more to go. I think I'm going to call it a night, though. So as you can see, and as I told you, I got six of those items listed. I got seven more to go in the morning. I think I'm going to call an end to this video. It's a little after nine now. Been at it going pretty hard today. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little day in the life look at uh, my eBay business. Um, this is my effort to get to 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours on YouTube. If you haven't yet, please take a second to hit that subscription button, maybe consider watching a few additional videos. I'm inching closer to that uh, 4,000 hours of watch time and I really appreciate your help. Um, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you tomorrow.